Hi right, guys, time for another video on painting. Painting day eight. You don't always do painting with paint. You can, you can use watercolor pencils. Different. You can use watercolor pencils. Dip them in the water. Dip the. Dip. You dip the watercolor pencils in the water and rub it onto the paper. And yesterday, yesterday I showed you a tea bag, didn't I, guys? We dipped it in the water and rubbed it on the paper to make it look really old. I watched that film. And scary. I don't think it's nearly as scary as that. It's not even blown. Since I was blown away by the movie Scale, how horrible it was when the comedy landed, and most of all, the terror of the movie Scale was the adult movie today i'm just going to show you some shadings for watercolor pencils well all pencils have graphite in all graphite in pencils but in these pencils they have water paint in them instead dried out you've got to wet it and rub it rub it and you can even cool in with them if you wish and not wet them but you better off wetting them because they have a really nice effect on the paper or canvas if you bear with me i'll get get this water paints here's water paints i'll open them up you've seen us use these on a lot of videos i'll open them up now look at them they're very dry aren't they you can take them out and colour them open if you really want to but it'd be very difficult you better not. And watercolor pencil. Oh, put that out. And watercolor pencils are the same stuff what's in water paints, but dried out. You can either colour in, colour in with them, as you would with any other pencil. Colour in something you've drawn, or just shade on the paper, or whatever. And you can also wet them as well to have a really nice effect on the canvas or paper. Now, I'll show you. I'll show you. To get, out, to get this one out, uh, you wet it. We did miffy, didn't we, when we used the watercolor pencils. Put them in the water and make sure you dry them when you're finished so you don't rot them, so you don't rot your pencils. Hey, that's I'll just put these over here. That wasn't scary when I watched it. See? They have a really nice watercolour effect. I'll just dry it off with my finger for now. And it gets all over my finger, but it doesn't matter. Now, you can even... You don't have to put water on them, guys. You can just colour them with, colour in with them, if you wish. But these are designed for water on them to have a nice effect. But you can do it either way, don't you? Let's see. Yeah. Designed for water. And the last one, if you do that. Don't dry it with acrylic pencils, poster paint pencils, or cut shading ink pencils, or others, because you just ruin the pencil. Or use watercolour pencils, or just use the old fashioned water paints, or use another type of paint for your paintings, yeah. Yeah. And to dry it, this is just a practice sheet, just dry it with your finger. <laughs> Goodbye guys. No, no, that's the end of our watercolour pencils for while. Tomorrow, we're going to do some acrylic paints. Alright.